Oh my goodness, folks. Welcome back to The Slice. Rafael Nadal and Dominic Team played an absolutely crazy match last night. And I think it might just be the match of the year. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. <laughs> Welcome back to The Slice, folks. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you please, you could support The Slice on Patreon, giving one or two dollars a month to support independent journalism. But last night was absolutely crazy. If you missed the match, Rafael Nadal ended up beating Dominic Team in a crazy five setter that ended at like, I don't know, three in the morning in New York. The stadium was like a quarter full by the end of the match. That's how late it was. But the, it was the match of the year, I think. In my opinion, it's the match of the year. And disclaimer is, I have not watched all the good matches this year. Like, I didn't watch really any of Nadal versus Djokovic at, in the semifinals of Wimbledon, which is a bad miss. But um, I haven't seen all the big matches, but I've seen most of them. And to me, this match was the best of the year. It was so... I was getting goosebumps by the end just because of the level these guys were playing at. So, as the match happened, it went... Dominic team started off and bageled Rafael Nadal, gave an old French baguette or... I guess that uh, Austrian baguette and or bagel and just told him and it looked we we're like what's gonna happen is Nadal totally off tonight is it gonna be like Feder being totally off against Milman but Nadal snapped back on and team's level dropped a little bit and then it was just a dog fight and it looked like Nadal was just gonna use it, his experience and grind down the younger guy like his would be normal in a grand slam but team came back in the four set and actually won it in a tiebreaker and he played really big balls tennis at the end there. And then in the fifth set, what r was so crazy to me was each time one guy stepped up their level, the other guy stepped it up as well. And they just keep, kept elevating each other until by the end of that set, they were playing tennis that was so good. Uh, it was just unbelievable. I was getting goosebumps. And team throughout the entire match was just going for broke. And he takes massive cuts at the ball on every stroke, as we all know. Um, but what was blowing my mind is, and the commentators are saying this, is how much he trusts each of the shot. Like he's going to hit the ball deep and he's just going to keep going for that. Even in the big moments, he's either going to miss long or hit it deep. And he was doing that all match long. And you're like, when is this guy going to stop hitting these shots? And he just never did. Even till the last rally, he never did. So I thought like even in the fifth set, Nadal or team was hitting bigger and playing more offensive. But so you're like, and then at, right at the end, I was like, I thought he had it because he hit some crazy rallies. Like the amount of overhands he had to, over, overhead smashes he had to hit was due to Rafael's insane defense. But the one, this one rally sticks out to me where team comes forward and he off a great forehand and then he has to hit an overhand and then Nadal rallies it back. Team hits another overhand smash. Nadal gets it back somehow. And then, but it's like back, a cross court backhand and team basically has to do a diving volley, draw volley to win the point. And it's just after four and a half hours of tennis, that is unbelievable. So team hitting blew me out of the water last night. I, I just can't believe he didn't win that match. But the reason he didn't win the match is because Nadal is the greatest competitor tennis has ever seen. His defense and just fight last night was unbelievable because, like I said, I think team was hitting bigger and maybe even a bit better. But team was just – or Nadal was just bringing everything back. And that in that rally that I just talked about, you guys all remember it, that's what showed up. It's like teams like how many unreal shots do you have to hit to win a point? How good do you have to play to win this match? How, how can you play the, as well as team did and not win a match? That's what everyone's thinking. That's what team had to be thinking at the end. <laughs> and Nadal actually said at the end of the match, he's like, I felt sorry for it. He said, I, I'm sorry at the end of the match after he won. But that's how Nadal does it. If he's not overpowering you, he's grinding you down into the ground. And Nadal's greatness last night was shown to me in, in a way I haven't seen it before. I was like, this is unbelievable that he's winning this match. He's a lot older than team, right? Um, and then he just had one match point and took it. And he, how did he take it? The team was hitting smashing shots. And he comes forward and Nadal flicks one up in the air. And it's a brutally tough overhead for team, and he misses it. Misses it long because he still went big. He went big the whole match. Nadal was able to be there and win defensively. Defense wins championships. 17 majors so far for Nadal. Maybe an 18th at this U.S. Open. Semi-final preview coming tomorrow. But for now, I think that match last night between Dominic Team and Rafael Nadal was the match of the year. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, folks. This is The Slice. Click here to watch my interview with Thanasi Kokonakis, who took down Federer early in the year, talks about that, and he talks about if he could beat Nick Kyrgios at basketball.